Hey guys, it's your girl grrr, Cat back with another video. I have not vlogged um, in a minute here, like you know, just this week in general. So I have so much to catch you guys up on. I need to talk to you guys for a minute and really tell you the tea of what's going on in my life so far. Um, but we're not going to talk about that right now because it's about 9 a.m. on Sunday, so I'll set, I think the eighth or something. And we need to get the Starbucks. We need to get the Kroger. Um, I have cursed and my friend um, coming over so we can go ahead and do some things today that I'll tell you guys about later. So we have a lot to do and I'm trying to get my eyebrows waxed as well too at 12. So I'm trying to be right at the salon at 12 o'clock. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I just need my eyebrows waxed. I don't need to be waiting 20, 30 minutes. So um, I'm trying to get that done. So there's a lot to do here today. So let's go ahead and get a move on it. Philip Pat gave me this uh, Starbucks gift card right here for $50. So for my birthday. So we're definitely going to be using that today. And um, let's go. Let's hope that the Starbucks line is not filled to the brim already. But if it is, we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. If, if I have free Starbucks, then why not? Why not? <laughs> Okay, so I'm sitting at the stop sign now with my hazard lights on, adding my Starbucks gift card because the line wasn't too busy, so I didn't want to try to do it in the line. So now we can go. Okay. Glad they're not that busy today. Yes, can I get a venti hot vanilla chai latte with oat milk, please? Okay, um, so no pastries at all, no loaves, no bread. Uh, I have like a cup of a red velvet loaf and a cup of vanilla bean scones. No, um, never mind. This wasn't meant to be. Okay, so my gas tank is on E. My gas light just came. I already knew I need to get gas, so yeah. I'm right now at Kroger gas station right here. I love when I can shop and get my gas in the same place. Like, oh my gosh, it's such a good feeling. Okay, so I'm sitting in Kroger's parking lot right now. I got my Starbucks food. I filled up my gas tank. Took me about $35, which wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to just eat my Starbucks food before it gets cold. Um, and then I'll go shopping and I'll see you guys later. So I'm back from Walmart at home. I mean, back from Kroger at home. I decided not to vlog because it's just like quick little stuff I had to get. You know, Philip likes to drink his Coke, washing detergent, spray for a Rocher, ice cream, dog food, cat food. This is my favorite type of sponge right here, a sponge daddy. And then I had to get my water and stuff. So it's not a lot of things I had to get, but let me go ahead and pack up these groceries. Okay, hey guys. So I'm at the Brave Stadium with Kirsten right here. So we are going to just scout the area for like areas to take pictures in and stuff like that. So I know going forward, you know, when I take pictures and I'm ready, like, okay, boom, I need to go here. Boom, I need to go here. Is I'm ready to go. Like it's no second guessing or whatever the case may be. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm not taking pic any pictures today, but I'm just simply scouting. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is one spot in the battery. We got out the parking garage and I think this is a great spot to take photos right here the empty wall and the windows right here. This is a cute spot to take photos. It's very private, I guess, or empty on the weekend. So I think we found our spot a little bit. So that's one spot. So that was on level three. Okay, I guess we maybe just have to go during the week where it's not crowded. Yeah. some pizza for the longest I ordered a pepperoni with extra cheese and they sure did cheese it up so I kind of tied up my hair a little bit but I'm about to go ahead and eat my food real quick and I'm gonna give you guys like a talk through of what's been going on this week since I haven't been vlogging that much but I'll talk with you guys in just a second okay hey you guys hey vlog 
so I have not been vlogging in a minute uh, not a minute like a long time but just like this whole week or at least about a week and a half I don't think or no just a week just a week just a week I have not been vlogging or really put up a vlog um, as of yet uh, so far soon I mean so far have I put up a vlog in January I think I have but haven't been vlogging as much and stuff like that so um, I wanted to go ahead and sit down with you guys today is Friday the 14th and I just came from a friend's house uh, from taking pictures and stuff like that so um, it's about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock at night um, I've been home around since a got something to eat and stuff so well, I said wow how my makeup and looking cute and stuff you know might as well go ahead and talk to you guys you know y'all need to see this makeup and you know how, I, how I'm looking um but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute of an update. So, um, an update for me. So, as you guys seen, maybe so far I've made a video about my resolutions and being proactive and having discipline and getting things done. I have been succeeding at that goal and I'm looking forward to getting more things done and pushing myself to be more and more successful this year. So, I my schedule just got a lot tighter um, as of earlier this week and I will tell you guys later but my schedule just got a lot tighter so I have way less time um to be doing a lot of things but I'm finding those pockets of time and the days I have to make time for the things I you know my like Instagram and social media and stuff like that so I'm very proud of myself so I've been disciplining myself edit you know staying you know the days off I have not slacking off getting edits done um you know today uh taking pictures as well too um and just really getting into it just trying to find a groove my, for myself i'm trying to find a way i can stay consistent on like videos and content for instagram by trying to post at least five days a week uh with my content here which means i really need to do batching because i really don't um, those days I don't have to like take a picture every day and I'm not looking forward to putting on makeup every day to take a picture I'm just I just I just I just not I, I just can't do that I can't do that but I need to just do my batching as best as possible um, and make time for that so I'm trying to figure out a schedule for me and myself uh, to get that done and um, also um, so I've been doing good with that I've been doing good with discipline myself and I'm just trying to figure out how I could do Instagram so I'm like, okay figure out your batching I, I, I sound stuffy figure out my batching and then how you can also incorporate TikTok videos into it I'm trying to be a triple threat I'm trying to have all my social media talk to each other TikTok uh, Instagram and YouTube talk to each other so I can get you know more subscribers and more fans and and things like that so I'm really looking for the up and up um, soon so I'm really excited I'm really proud of myself I had give God the glory um, another thing is so um, I've been wanting to figure out a maintenance a maintenance for me schedule so I'm trying to save a lot of money this year I have a lot of things coming up so I have been trying to put myself on a maintenance schedule and what I mean by that I want to like I've been trying up for my hair, okay, for, for my hair. I want protective styling. I want my hair to really flourish this year, like grow and just be protected. But I also want to, you know, have some, you know, I, I don't want to always have braids in my hair or, you know, do a wig all the time. So I said, you know what, you know what, it's time for a sew-in, um, a closure sew-in at that. And I look at this one uh, Instagram uh, stylist for a long time now, for a while. And they, he charges good prices, I feel. I could be on the maintenance plan. And um, I'll let you know when I, got, I go to um, him. Um, I'm pretty excited. So, so because I was like, I just want to sew in. I just want to close your sew in. Like, I just want to pay the maintenance fee he has per month. And, you know, maintain it at home. And, you know, ha still have access to my, like, you know, my braids, my moisturizing it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to sew it at this point. Like, and I feel like, you know, it gives me the look I want. 
and it protects my hair at the same time, you know. And I feel like it will protect the styling too for me. I feel like any style, any style you have, braids, closure sew-ins, wigs, to me, you can't do it all the time back to back to back to back to back. Like, you got to give your hair a break. You do a sew-in for two and a half, three months. Give your hair a break for a month and then go back into protective styling. So that's, I said, that's one thing I'm going to pay for this year is getting my hair done more. Uh, well, getting my hair done point blank, period. Having my hair done in a while. But, and then two, skin treatments and going to um, an esthetician. Um, I plan on going back to the same person I went to about in December, sometime next month. <laughs> Um, sometime next month because I really want to get a chemical peel and I really want to focus on better skin because I, you know, I'm really try to shine for the summer and stuff, you know, and it, it's nice to, you know, be that girl who could do it all, who can, um, and, and trust me, you know, I want to be that girl who could do it all, that could do the hair, the nails, the, the eyelashes, the skin treatments and the, you know, all that stuff. But I was like, I really need to save money this year and it's, you're going to have to pick two things you gonna go out and pay for and do the rest yourself at home so i decided it's gonna be the hair and the skin i'm gonna go out and get treatments for and the rest at home and let me tell you it's kind of hard because I, I i used to get my eyelash extensions like all the time like a year no two years ago i used to get back-to-back -back extensions and that gets addicting and i saw um one girl um and on instagram and she had some good prices she said a hundred dollar full sets in january i was about to book but i said no because once you book that one time you're gonna want to keep going back to her and keep going back and keep going back and that's money you're spending so no um i could just do my strip lashes my strips look amazing i did a i think i did like a beauty supply store haul for you guys but i literally bought like a whole bunch of strip lashes and a beauty supply store store so I don't need like eyelash extensions at this time. It's really cute. It looks so good, but I just, I can't. My nails, I have been doing my own press on nails as you see here. They look really good to me. When I went over to my friend's house, she complimented them. So to me, they look really good, natural, just, you know, French manicure. This is from the Kiss set. I can't be mad at this so I was like you know I got my you know look I got my nails done I'm rocking the shorts out here for right now so I was like I, that's one way I can save money and they stay on for two weeks for me so that's good um I'll, I'll go to the you know the the nail salon to get my eyebrows arched or my feet but those are the two main things I want to maintain this year is my skin and my hair um and also was maintaining my skin guess what I bought from Sephora I just got a package. I just got a package. I just got a package. I wonder where it's from. Do, 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 do. So I've been wanting to, you know, build a better at home skin treatment for myself. So, first of all, it was my birthday. So Sephora sent me my free gift and I chose my free gift. That's the Olaplex uh, system right here. I got the travel size bottles of Olaplex. So your girl has been hearing about Paula Choice in the streets for a while now. Paula Choice, Paula Choice, Paula Choice. I said I'm gonna give them a try. So I got the Paula Choice toner with hydrochloronic acid. And I got the BHA liquid exfoliant with sacrylic acid. So this is what it looks like. This was, I think this was about, I'll put, I'll put the price on the screen if I'm wrong, but uh, I think this is about $30. I believe this is about $20 or $25 right here. Here, but I've been hearing nothing but good things, so I'm excited to keep consistent with them and try them. Uh, I need to get some sunscreen too. Like, I was going to get the Super Goop. It just be, it was like the Super Goop sunscreen was like $30 something dollars, and I was like, for a one ounce for $30. Oh, but I've been hearing some good things about Super Goop. So I was like, I might go back and get it. But I need some other options before because, yikes, $34 for just a one ounce? And then um, they sent me a couple samples I had chose as well, too. Your girl has been getting into perfumes, as you know. So as a sample, I said, let me try the Ro Rosie by Rosie Jane perfume. You know, they sent me a little sample. So, yeah. It smells really good. 
it smells very light. It's a light scent. But when I went on Sephora, and I'll post some screenshots, when I went on Sephora to try to see if I can get the full size, girl, the reviews were like boo-boo. The reviews are boo-boo. The reviews were like, no, this don't last long. No, this not it, Sephora. Like, no, this not it. And I can kind of see why the scent is very, I don't know. Maybe, I, I mean, I, I can't really test the perfume. You know, how It's just so little, so it's not enough to spray all over my body or the oil is. I mean, it is. It's not enough. So, I mean, this is the oil. This is the oil. So, I mean, it's not enough to really test it out. I've just been putting it on my thumb here. It smells really good, but, you know, so maybe this is not worth buying the full size. But, yeah, that has what your girl has been up to this week. Just been working hard, getting some ideas together, what I want to put on my TikTok. And, you know, really pushing harder each and every month. And even with, you know, I came home from taking pictures, I really wanted to just lay down, take off my makeup, put back my clothes in my closet and call it a day. But I said, no, let me talk to my vlog. Like, let me get out this camera and push through and, you know, talk to them since I haven't talked to, um, um, since I haven't talked to my vlog in a while. So especially I want to come on this camera looking cute, you know, looking really cute as always. So, hey guys. So it is Sunday, I think the 16th. Um, it was a snow day in Atlanta. Uh, it was so fun to see the flurries. I haven't seen it in so long. And of course, you know, everybody thinking, oh, emergency. Gotta go out and get groceries. I already know the whole deal because I'm from Atlanta. And um, Walmart was super de duper busy yesterday. Uh, I already did my grocery shopping at Kroger like early that morning, like at nine o'clock. Um, so I wasn't busy at Kroger like that, but I went to Walmart real quick and it was and um, So I got a couple things from Kroger. I want to show you guys. So hold on Okay, so I saw these in the clearance rack at Kroger um, I've been I've been really wanting some mason jars, but sometimes mason jars be expensive and for a four pack they're only four dollars because of the holiday one so that's where they're on sale and since i'm getting back to my natural hair care i need like mason jars to make oils and butters and you know just different stuff to store stuff in so i got two two of them i should go back and get one more because uh, i want to like i said i want to make different oils and butters and creams and stuff and like so i might get just one more maybe this wasn't enough but <laughs> yeah that's what i got and i also got this as well too this is good it's, it's a, you can taste a, a light peachiness it's not very harsh but that's what i got and also you guys guess what i got from amazon in the mail don't mind the dust it's from downstairs as our floors are still not finished i'm gonna wipe them off while i'm cleaning them off i finally got my fur crocs in the mail here they are so freaking comfortable so freaking cute just slide my feet right on in and I think that's the thing about Amazon. Like, I be watching stuff like drop in price because usually Crocs are like $60, right? Well, I saw, it, oh, I, I kept seeing the price drop to like $40 and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, it's been doing that a couple times. You know you want it, go ahead and get the Crocs. So I finally did, I'm so happy. They're so freaking comfortable. I love the hot pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you another hot pink pair that are not the fur line when it gets more summertime, but yeah, I'm pretty excited and um and i did take some photos today that's why i'm all make the make you have my makeup on and stuff like that i did take some photos in the house so i can't wait for you guys to see it on the gram as well too i love these lashes i'm gonna have to insert the where i got it from the b supply store the big pack i got but i love these lashes i have on here 